both uh, uh, technical skills or hard skills and uh, soft skills are all uh, people's skills uh, build uh, the level of eligibility and uh, abilities of individuals and individuals need to uh, know, uh, improve and consider uh, both aspects of their skills and abilities which are hard skills and soft skills. Actually, uh, if we uh, uh, consider uh, or assume uh, our uh, skills uh, and abilities as a coin, uh, we have to know that uh, we have to focus on both sides of uh, our eligibilities and abilities coin because when we look on a coin, coin has two sides. Based on the banking system, uh, uh, coins has two sides and if we uh, remove uh, one side, uh, no one will take that coin and the coin will uh, lose its value. Uh, so like a coin, when we focus on one side of our skills and abilities, just hold the skill and uh, ignore uh, our soft skills and do not work on the, on the development of our soft skills, uh, we may uh, get job or maybe get chance to have an interview for getting job or going somewhere, but we may not be successful in our works. Or if we focus just on uh, the improvement of our soft skills or people's skills and do not gain uh, uh, professional knowledge or improve our uh, hard skills, of course we may not use uh, some uh, uh, machines, we cannot uh, analyze data, or we cannot uh, uh, perform our duties properly. That's why it's very important to focus on both sides of uh, human skills, which are uh, hard skills or technical skills and soft skills or people's skills and behavioral skills. Uh, we gain and improve uh, uh, our hard skills through uh, participation in particular uh, courses, educational uh, periods, uh, uh, colleges, universities, and also through daily uh, works and experiences in different organizations. And uh, we can demonstrate our uh, hard skills through uh, showing our certificates and also uh, taking some uh, school-based uh, tests for exams uh, and also uh, uh, through the use of some uh, machines for analyzing of data or some uh, particular works which based on uh, our uh, professional knowledge. Uh, but uh, it's different to demonstrate our uh, uh, soft skills. We cannot demonstrate our soft skills by showing any certificate or uh, taking any school-based uh, test or exam. Uh, that's why uh, if we demonstrate our, if we want to demonstrate our uh, soft skills or the level of our soft skills or behavioral skills, uh, we need to uh, do some uh, works uh, practically. We have to uh, conduct uh, communication, continue some uh, communication with different people and also think on some things, some problems to find solutions or uh, find answers for some questions and uh, lead some particular projects. That's why uh, we can demonstrate our uh, the levels of our uh, soft skills through our uh, 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 practical actions and reactions in order people may assist the levels of our soft skills. But it's very important to know that both hard skills and soft skills are uh, very important for individuals and individuals need both uh, sections of human skills to uh, get job, to uh, proper, uh, to perform their uh, duties and works properly and be uh, more successful in their uh, personal uh, and professional lives. Uh, the most important aspects and parts of uh, soft skills are uh, the communication skills, adaptability, uh, critical thinking, uh, leadership skills, uh, problem solving, teamwork, and flexibility. Actually, uh, when we work uh, at, uh, in any organization, when we uh, have teamworks, or uh, when we lead any project or any uh, team, uh, we cannot perform our uh, works without conducting communication. In communication, one of the most essential aspects of uh, personal, social, and professional lives for all human beings, especially for uh, professional lives. When we uh, start our works, when we continue our works, and when we uh, try to finish and uh, uh, conclude our works, we 
uh, do everything in every uh, step through conducting uh, communication with our, uh, our members of our team or uh, our uh, co-workers or colleagues. Uh, that's why it is very important to focus on the development of uh, communication skills and communication abilities because when we improve our communication skills, we can uh, communicate uh, properly and we can uh, do our or perform our uh, duties properly. And through daily practices, we can uh, uh, transform or change our communication skills into communication uh, competence, uh, which would be easily applicable uh, in at any time. And also, uh, after communication skills, one of the most important aspects of soft skills is adapt adaptability or flexibility, because uh, when we work in different situations, in different environments with different people, we may face a uh, different situation. And we may not uh, uh, think that uh, uh, on, the, on some particular uh, rule, uh, norms and rules based on our own um, ideas and based on our own mindsets, uh, because uh, different areas, different organizations have their own different rules. And we have to uh, fix our mindsets based on the uh, requirements of uh, different environments and different situations to be uh, uh, more happier and more active. That's why adaptability and flexibility is very important uh, for all individuals and all people. And critical thinking, thinking of, of course, because if uh, people don't have the ability of critical thinking, they just uh, follow the routine things and uh, such people might not be uh, very helpful for uh, organization and institution in the current challenging uh, world and situations. Uh, people uh, to be creative must uh, think critically uh, and critical thinking ability is one of the most important uh, aspects of uh, soft skills and always individuals have to think critically on the different aspects of their lives and also uh, different processes in the uh, different organizations and different working situations. And of course, leadership uh, skills are also very important because uh, when uh, individuals start their work, they may uh, find uh, chances after uh, getting some experiences to lead some projects or lead some teams. Uh, therefore, uh, 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 gaining and uh, increasing uh, leadership skills uh, is, are very important and leadership skills are among uh, the most important aspects of uh, soft skills. And problem solving, of course, when uh, people work together because of different uh, ideas, different emotional uh, responses and situations, uh, there would be some conflicts or some problems. But uh, 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 helpful, uh, uh, active and uh, successful people who have higher level of uh, both technical and uh, technical skills and soft skills, instead of thinking on problems and uh, uh, challenges or uh, conflicts, they may think, and they have to think on uh, sol finding solutions, and of course, finding solutions is the, uh, the most important way to uh, stop any conflict or solve any uh, probable uh, problem. And teamwork is uh, the ability to work with other people. Some people may be very active and very uh, productive when they work alone, but uh, may not be very active when we work with different people. But it's very important to uh, gain and improve uh, teamwork or skills and abilities. But of course, uh, sometimes we need to work with different people. And at that case, we have to improve the uh, ability of teamwork and teamwork ability or skill is one of the most important aspects of uh, uh, soft skills or people so skills or behavioral skills. And flexibility, or, uh, as I mentioned it, uh, besides adaptability, one of the most important aspects for all individuals in the current uh, challenging uh, world, uh, uh, which uh, uh, ever-growing multicultural uh, and uh, multinational organizations or also multicultural living areas, uh, people faced with different situations and different norms and rules, uh, flexibility uh, and adaptability uh, help individuals to gain their goals, to be happier and to get rid of rigid uh, mindset and be uh, flexible and be more happy and active in their uh, daily lives. Uh, that's why it's very important for all indi individuals, especially educated and professionals, uh, 
to improve the levels of their soft skills or people's skills or behavioral skills because uh, I say behavioral skills uh, because soft skills mostly uh, belong to different aspects of human uh, behavior or behavioral aspects of human life. Of course, it depends on cognitive also, but mostly uh, belong to behavioral aspects of human life. And that's why uh, it's very important besides gaining uh, uh, professional knowledge, uh, uh, participation, uh, participating in uh, particular courses or uh, different periods of education, it's very important to focus on the different aspects of soft skills and uh, improve our uh, soft skills uh, to be uh, more active and productive in our uh, uh, personal, professional and social lives. Uh, that's why uh, it's uh, very important uh, to, uh, to uh, use wisely our time, our energy uh, to improve both sides of our uh, skills and be more active in our uh, daily lives. Thank you.